What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Jacked Up Fishing. Well, as you've seen on the last couple videos, I've been working on this Shoalwater 21 Cat Bay Boat. We've been redoing it. I painted it, I've gel coated the inside, I've cleaned it all up, put all the new hatches, do it a new rub rail. And now it's time to get to some fun stuff. I'm actually working on the console today and I'm gonna put this acrylic panel on the dash. We're gonna try to do the whole dash. I'm gonna try to make them bends. And I'm gonna show you how I do it. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. All right, so stick around, here we go. So as you've seen in the past, I've worked on a Key West boat. We've made some windshields. Um, we've made a bunch of stuff out of acrylic in the past. This one's a little bit of a different angle. I gotta do a straight bend, a little bend again. I'm only going up to that first lip down. Um, I'm gonna use a, probably a propane torch, a couple tools, a couple vices, or C-clamps if you will. And I got this acrylic sheet here. This is half inch acrylic, it's black. It has a protective coating on both sides. I might have to pull it off just to do the bends with the heat, um, we'll see. But um, I've tried with the heat gun, it doesn't do as good, it's not as fast, it doesn't uh, make it melt as quick. But I'm hoping to get it all done, I'll do the edges and then I'll bend it. Hopefully it comes out pretty good. All right, let's get started. So first things first, I'm not a professional at this. Uh, I'm in a different field. I do a lot of fishing. I've done some uh, some boat working in the past. I'm good with fiberglass and gel coat, but this is not really my forte. I'm just kind of winging it. Um, pretty much, uh, I have confidence. I think I can do it. We'll see. Leave a comment below if you've had a project where you think you could tackle and uh, how it came out. Let me know, man. But uh, right now I'm gonna tackle this one. So first things first, I'm gonna C-clamp this bad boy, this whole sheet to the console. It's just straight right now and I'm gonna C-clamp it. This is so I can mark it out with a pencil from the back side and get as close as I can. I got a, a good reference line down here along the bottom. Looks nice and straight. Um, it feels good. That's the way I would want it to sit. I'm gonna also take a router and bevel the edge a little bit before I do anything. Um, just to make sure it's all good. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do right now, trace it out, check it out, measure twice, cut once, right? That's the good old saying, and uh, see what we're working with. All right, let's get to it. So what I'm working with today, guys, is 3 8 thick um, black acrylic. And that's what this on this dash is right here, which we're working with. Um, I thought it was half inch, but it's 3 8 I started marking it out with a pencil right here. And what I did was I just took a, a simple framing pencil here from Home Depot, Lowe's, whatever, um, put it flat against here, and then I marked it. Now I have to measure the thickness of the pencil and how much I want it inside that mark. So I'm gonna figure that out, um, see what we're gonna work with here, and uh, hopefully get this thing cut here in a few minutes. So let me get to marking it all out, I'll get to cutting. And then uh, we'll get back with you. So now I've marked both sides, both sides underneath. I've also scribed a line on the gel coat right here so I have a reference, reference line for the next time I put it back on it so it's consistent. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull it off. I'm gonna flip it over, put it on the sawhorse and see what I'm working with. So I've got it off the boat now. I've actually got it laying on some sawhorses. You can see where I've marked it off. The straight lines are where I use the pencil against the console. So I'm gonna start mar marking it off more solid, measure inside, see if I can get a consistent gap on each side, make it perfect, and then re-measure it, go up there, maybe measure the console width and all that good stuff as well. I wanna double check everything before I cut, cause I only get the one cut at one time. So I've measured everything, drew everything out. Here's what I got so far. As you can see, I've marked all the critical widths 
I've marked where the transitions are and I've marked it inside so that way I can go. I've taken a picture of it on my phone. I'm gonna jump up in the boat and uh, measure everything out, make sure it fits good. So I'm gonna get up there now, measure it up, and then we'll get to cutting. All my measurements were good. I measured them three times on the board, on the console. I think I got it pretty close. Now, I'm gonna grab the skill saw. I'm using an ultra finished blade. It's got 60 teeth. It's a Diablo, it's from Home Depot. It's a normal skill saw. And uh, I'm gonna adjust the depth a little bit. Just past what it's the depth of the whole thing. And uh, I'm gonna get the cutting. So I got a cut, looks pretty good so far. That's the, that's the basic outline right now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it back in the boat and see how she looks right now without being bent. So everything lines up perfectly. All I'm doing before I do the bends is cleaning up all the corners. I'm rounding the corners. We're going to sand all the edges nicely with 600 grit, maybe even a thousand grit. And then I'm gonna route it just a little bit around that top corner. It makes it look a little bit better. So that's what I'm going to do. Just knock that top edge down with the router, sand everything, and then come back with the torch at the very end. So here's what I got so far. You can see I've rounded all the corners. I started sanding everything. And you want to sand that flat. Make it look good. It's getting there. That just gives that a little rounded edge there. All right, so I pulled the protective film off. As you can see, that's what it looks like right now. Made sure it's all clean. I'm gonna put up some blocks of wood in there that I know I'm gonna be drilling out of. And that's gonna give me a, 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 like a leverage point to screw in and try to get it to conform to the shape I want it to. So I'm just gonna heat it with the torch, get it not too much if you heat it too much it will it will um it will show you'll see where you heated it so you got to be careful just do it a little bit at a time until it starts to move all right so let's let's see if we can get it going so i got the dash panel all clamped up here i got two c clamps down on the bottom protected with some masking tape i couldn't leave the protective cover on because it'll heat up get gummy and mess up the the finish on here um, I also got a piece of wood up here, like I told y'all, screwed through, drilled through the uh, acrylic so it'll grab the fiberglass and um, pull it in for me. So let's get it going. Hopefully it'll go smoothly here. And there it is, some propane. We're just gonna go just like this, right along where we're going to we wanna do it just nice and easy. See what that does here. You need some more for that, that's for sure. And it will get soft.
So I'm heating this one section up that I want it to bend at. And I got this plate with a two by up there. And I have a backer plate. And that's how I'm gonna squish it down, bend it the right way. Hopefully it works out. Let's see. All right, so I got it all bent. As you can see, it fits the contour pretty close, man. I got it real close. It doesn't look like much right now because of the heat, but I can buff all that out, make it look decent. But that's what I got. I used map gas. As you can see right there, it really heats up. You gotta be careful not to burn it. I got a couple burn spots. There's a burn spot there and a one right there. Not a big deal. Comes out pretty easy with a buffer. So I'm gonna let this cool down, let it sit there for a little while and cure, and then uh, I'll come back, pull it off, take a look at it. Well, here it is, they're all bent up. It looks pretty crappy right now, just because I got the holes in there, got a couple burn marks, but I'm gonna put the buffer on it right now, see what I can do with it, make sure it looks good before I move any farther. So you're gonna ask me how, how do I get this to look nice and smooth? Well, first you sand the sides, you sand the sides, then take your, uh, your torch and you're just gonna heat it up till it looks wet. And then it's gotta be smooth though to look good. I'll show you. So there's a couple spots I'm gonna go back and hit again, but that's pretty much it. You just gotta keep going. Hitting it along. So you like the look of it. So now that I got that all bent up and uh, it looks good, it looks pretty good. I got a couple little spots that I'm gonna hit. I'm gonna wrap it up for the night. Get back on in the morning, I gotta mount the helm. I'm gonna mount the helm, the throttle cable, the throttle handle, and uh, a few other things tomorrow. Start planning out the dash, man. Pretty excited. There it is.
Doesn't look too bad. I got a couple spots right in this area. I gotta, I gotta work out, but doesn't look too bad. So I got it all pretty much buffed out. I got three spots that are bugging me just a little bit, but here it is so far. I polished it out. I got a spot right here. As you can see, it's just a little burn spot and a spot right here. Um, I gotta still get out. Otherwise, it looks pretty good. All it's gonna take is a little sanding. You gotta start low, just like you're doing a wet sand. You gotta start low, just like you're doing a little wet sand at like 400, 600, 800, all the way up to like 3,000, then buff it. That way there's no you know, scratch marks or anything like that, but it looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna go ahead and route this top edge now, get it where I want it to be, and then uh, start Start cutting holes in it. <laughs> it's making it look like Swiss cheese. I'm gonna go ahead, take it off the boat now. I'm gonna do a little bit of marking from underneath to where I want some stuff like the helm and also the uh, throttle control. And then uh, I'm gonna route the top, clean it all up and uh, get it ready to start rigging. All right, so it's the next day. I came back out, now I'm doing the layout. This is the most important part of your dash, laying it out, seeing where everything fits, I've done some measuring. I want to see where the glove box, the, the fish finder, the tachometers, and the stereo or the radio, where they will fit on here. I've been doing the helm. I'm going to do the cutout right now for the, the main components, the helm and the throttle and uh, the key switch. And then uh, we'll start putting the other stuff on. So I'm just going to keep measuring out, see what's going on. See, hopefully I can get it all fit into this dash and uh, we'll get it all cut out and looking good. Okay, so I got the holes cut out for the gauges, the helm, the throttle, binnacle mount, and the key switch. So that's all completely done. I test fit all the pieces in there as well. Having the correct size hole saw for these gauges and the helm is critical. I mean critical. You don't want to be going in there and hacking it up with a jigsaw if you can help it. Um, they sell them at Home Depot. You can get the bit, the arbor everything for it. and that's that's the way you should do it. it makes it nice and easy whether you're doing it in your console in the fiberglass or you're doing like an acrylic like i'm doing but i've marked it out this is what it looks like so far i retaped it just to kind of get it over this is where the, the fish finder is going to be this is where a little glove box is going to be and i'm going to put a, a radio over here so uh, that should be all it and it should be uh pretty tight so let me get to measuring this out. This is the most important part, is measuring everything twice. Me measure twice, cut once, the old carpenter saying. So I'm gonna measure out all these uh, areas for my uh, radio, fish finder, glove box. I'm gonna measure them out, test fit them, make sure they're all good, and uh, hopefully everything fits. So now I drilled the pilot holes. As you can see right here, for the this is for the glove box. I flipped it over so I can cut on the backside and not scratch the front up with the jigsaw. So I'm trying to get, just keep everything off the front. So I'm trying to keep everything off the front side of this thing. That way there's no scratches, there's no more damage to the front side. I'm gonna cut it out, test fit everything, and then I'll go to the console, make sure there's, you know, everything's fitting behind there as well. All right, let's get to cutting. There you go, there's the, there's the one piece, that's the glove box. Now I'm gonna put the fish finder in, then the radio. Coming out all right. Looking pretty sweet. I had a little tight area on these gate, on the top part here, where my fish finder, my glove box, and my radio were. I was able to move everything over just a skosh and get it nice and tight. But here's the, the fish finder and the glove box layout right now. It looks pretty pimp, pretty pimp. Very similar in size. So now all I gotta do now is mount my uh, radio over here, cut out the hole for it. Then I can get to mounting everything in there. 
Pretty cool, pretty cool, looking pretty boss. I also gotta do a little shining on this acrylic. A little bit more shining, there's a little couple spots that I wanna get buffed out before I put it on the boat. All right, pretty stoked, looks good. Well, I'm finally done cutting. There it is. It's all cut out, everything looks pretty good, looks laid out really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it up on the boat again. Mark out on the console what's behind there because I need to have a uh, hollow behind these holes. And then uh, start mounting everything. So as you can see, I have the dash mounted on here now. So what I'm gonna do now, and this is what it looks like right now. It looks pretty clean. So what I'm gonna do now is trace out anything I need to cut out of the console. I see right here that I got Little circle here to cut out. And on the gauges, I gotta cut them out a little bit bigger because they have a little, a little holder. Also, I need, I need to clean this out right here on both sides maybe, just clean it out. Right here as well. And then right up here, I gotta do all these. So what I'm gonna do is push down on this. that's it pretty much so I'm gonna get the saws all out clean up all these holes and that way I can start putting this stuff together also got to clean up this acrylic a little bit more make sure it's all perfect before I start stop before I start installing everything all right all right well it's all cleaned up I got a little more fiberglass dust from cutting everything. It's pretty crazy. I got to vacuum this whole thing out, but this is what it looks like now. Came out really nice. I buffed this a little bit more. I got it pretty good, man. I'm pretty happy with it. So now I'm just going to get some uh, 5200 or some quick dry 5200 put behind here. I'm going to scuff the back, take all the tape off, scuff the back and uh, start bolting stuff down on there. And uh, we'll get all the all the components in there it's gonna look really good so i sanded the whole back side to give it a little bit more surface area so when i do put the caulk on the back it does adhere to it. I'm also going to clamp it down and leave it overnight. So that's what I'm going to do tonight. I'm going to clean this all off, get it all perfect, and uh, put some tape in some uh, areas that I need to C-clamp it at, and uh, we'll clamp it down. All right, so if you haven't figured it out yet, I'm bouncing back and forth between two boats right now. I'm working on this Baycraft over here, which you will see in an upcoming video. We're doing a... Uh, Fixing the stringers, putting a new floor in. Uh, we're converting it to a side console. That's going to be a pretty cool uh, video for you guys. But right now, um, getting ready. I just got this console all cleaned up. I'm going to put some tape on the acrylic and in the spots that I'm going to clamp it at. And then I'm gonna, I got black 5200. I'm just going to put it all back in here. I just had black. I grabbed it off the shelf by accident. So if you do grab 5200, make sure you look. Make sure it's the white, because I do it all the time. I grab the black, I get home, I'm like, damn, I need the white. So uh, this is a good spot for it behind this black uh, acrylic. 
you won't see it but it does bond really good all right let me get this uh all set up and i'll show you what i'm doing all right there she is all clamped up ready to dry looks really good and did i tell you how much i love working with black 5200 you touch it somewhere and it's all over the place it is tough to get off but uh um, it'll bond it'll do a good bond it'll make a good bond so for this dash to really get down you can see it oozing out right here it's gonna be good it's gonna be real good oozing out up there all right well i'm gonna let this cure overnight i'm gonna go take a shower get all this black 5200 off me and uh I'm hoping when I get back tomorrow, it looks really good and uh, it's dry and I can start rigging. Well, it's the next day. I came out, check it all out. It looks like it's cured. I pulled all the clamps and everything. Everything looks really good really good the only thing i'm concerned about i gotta do is i gotta go back over with the buffer one more time i have a little spot right here from the clamp a little spot here a little spot there um just some some spots that i want to sand and polish out real quick before i move forward but today i get to put the fun stuff out i'm gonna put the helm the gauges all the stuff in that needs to go in start wiring and uh i'm pretty stoked let me get to it here. I'm going to show you all how I uh, buff and sand this out. It's just like gel coat or anything like that. You just sand it 400, 600, 800. You can go all the way up to 1500, 2000. Buff it out with a buffer. Comes out perfect. Um, I think this looks really good. It's going to look really good when it's done. All right, let's get to it. off just like the outside of the boat perfect it 3m perfect it come back with some finesse it and it's uh it buffs it out really good i'm just using my wool pad my normal wool pad that i normally would use on the outside of the boat does a fantastic job i'm gonna show you I don't want to use too much, but I'm just putting a little bit on here and there so I can show you guys, see how it goes here. As you can see, there's no scratch marks. It's all smooth, looks good. That's how you do it. All right, let's get to rigging. All right, guys, so I've gotten everything installed on the dash. It's not hooked up, but it's, everything's laid out, cut out, and here's the final product. Boom. Look at that. That is one cool layout. I love it. Came out really good. Got my radio, my finder. I got a glove box here. So I put my phones and stuff in. Uh, key switch, tack, fuel gauge. Everything looks really clean. That's what I was going for. Up top, I'm gonna do a C-deck, one of them catch-alls. Uh, it's an extra thick pad of C-deck. It's, it's a console pad or whatever it's called. I'm gonna get one of them made. But uh, that's my dash right now. 